So what is Reforma Pilates? We hear it a lot. People ask us at the pod at the studio. Um, it's something you'll see on search engines popping up quite often. It's in magazines as the coin phrase. Although if you've seen lately, it's Movo Reforma. Now the tower's about. But I want to talk to you about what the Reforma is. So Reforma Pilates isn't really a thing. Pilates is Pilates. Part of the system of Pilates includes working out on a piece of apparatus which is very well known and very well loved called the reformer, the universal reformer. But it's not the only piece of the pie. It's not the only piece in the jigsaw. Reformer is one piece of the jigsaw puzzle and there is a much bigger piece around it as well. So the idea of how Pilates really works is that the universe reformer is a place their people should work out. It has a system, a discipline, an order. It links one exercise to the other with transitions and doing it in this sort of authentic way, the way Joe Pilates would have taught, is for you to build on the foundational exercises and then progress and develop into stronger exercises, more complex, more unsteady, uh, more parts to the components and more kind of multiplane movements when you are stronger. And how Joe used to do it in the studio was that you earned the right to add on an exercise when he could see that you were disciplined in your mind as well as your body. So the ID being the ology of control is controlology, what Pilates is actually called. So once you've worked out on the reformer, we as teachers can watch you working out on it, you yourself can work out on it, and between us we can feel what's going wrong here in the body. We can see the things that aren't really happening properly. It might be there's something is a little too tight and restricting your body from making that shape. It might be something's too weak and restricting the body from getting full benefit. So what do we do now? We don't simply just bash at that exercise. How many times have you been in a mat class, for example, struggled to do the roll up and people have told you when you get stronger you'll be able to do it well that kind of is true but you can't keep just going over the same thing to get stronger because it's not simple as just your abs getting stronger the whole body is a connected jigsaw puzzle and you need to integrate all of your body parts into your center to kind of iron out the imbalances that you've got between muscles that are too tight and too weak and build a good strong center and you don't do that by kind of just going over random exercises you build it by having a very strong discipline and how things link together so working on the reformer you find these things out about yourself your teacher sees them on the day they might be slightly different to the next time you come in and of course they're going to be very different to the person next to you which is why we don't want to encourage everybody does the same thing it's about what your body needs and now this is the magical part. The rest of the studio, so things like the towers, the Cadillac, the wonder chair, the high chair, pedipole, ladder barrel, spine correctors, toe correctors, foot correctors, sandbags, breath exercises, all of those things, all of that apparatus will help you to develop and fine tune your individual issues. And they are individual issues, things obviously that the next person won't do the same stuff. And it's by using the rest of the studio, integrating all of that in your body, that you learn to move better, to have better movement patterns, to have more efficiency of your movement, more control of your body, more strength where strength is required, more opening and stretch where things are too tight. And that improves your workout of the exercises on the reformer. Then don't miss mat workout. Lots of people don't like mat work and I hear it all the time, no I'm not interested in mat work, I've done that before, um, I just want to be on the reformer. That's often because the mat has been taught in a isolated way and perhaps it's been in a hybrid way, a fusion class or a kind of stretch class. When you are linking all of the exercises around the system of the studio together, you will understand that the work you do on the reformer gives you support and it gives you resistance. But take that support and the resistance away, that's mat work. And that's why actually mat work is one of the hardest pieces of the puzzle. So we don't forget it. Yes, it is what Joe Pilates would give you as your homework between studio sessions because most people don't have a studio at home. 
but unless we teach it well, how can you do it? So making sure that your mat work is a fundamental part of your whole jigsaw, making sure that you can access that because you know what the exercises are, what's appropriate for your body, and you can work them yourself at home. And coming to the studio regularly, not so much once a week for maintenance, but perhaps coming a little bit more regularly than that, you will start to feel improvements, start to notice the changes. And those people in our studio that come a minimum twice a week really notice a huge parallel change. So if you want to make changes in your body, once a week is great for maintenance. This is your progression. Twice a week is going to make your progression here. Three times a week is going to make your progression here. But if you're not coming at all or coming maybe once every other week, of course, once a week is going to be fabulous. So just think about putting all the pieces of the jigsaw together. Remember, yes, you do workout and Pilates. Yes, you do sweat. No, at the beginning, it won't necessarily make you lose weight. But when you are working classically in the authentic way, linking the exercises together with the transitions, knowing your order on the mat and reformer, you are working strong flow, a good rhythm. You're not stopping and stretching in between the exercises. And that increases your cardiovascular workout and your stamina, which then will aid your weight loss. And of course, with any discipline of exercise you're doing, when you're invested in exercising and looking after yourself, you will move better. You will move with more ease, less injuries and pains. You'll feel more inspired to perhaps look at other areas of your life. So yes, you hopefully will, if that is a goal for you, start to see a difference in the scales. But remember, that's not why we do it. Ultimately, Pilates is about strengthening what we call the powerhouse, the center of the body. The center of the body is the part that falls apart when we don't focus on the muscles there because there are no bones. When we focus on the muscles, it protects our center, which is the area around the middle that we have around our vital organs. So really important for all the vital organs you have in your abdominal area and your pelvic floor muscles and such like. It also adds strength and stability to your lower back and pelvis from underneath, from the back, from the front and above. And it will give you support and space for all of your joints. So thinking about your joints between all of the vertebrae of your spine and up into your neck, your shoulder joints, your hip joints, your knee joints, your ankles and so forth. So if you are prone to having those injuries in your joints, maybe start to think about addressing your centre first. And always remember, address the centre, the lower body first around the pelvis and lower back before thinking about the neck. A lot of times you may feel like you've got a neck issue, but that neck issue is actually coming lower down the chain. And the piece of the pie that's missing here around your center and lower back is perhaps the falling apart and putting more pressure above or below it. So working your jigsaw pieces all together, work out on the reformer, yes, but get to know the kind of authentic way of doing it, get a good discipline going on, and then put all the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle together. It's not just reformer, it is the tower, it is the wonder chair, it is the pedipole, it's whatever it is that you need. And then, my friends, you shall be experiencing Contrology, or rather Pilates. Bye! <laughs>